Cars and Chai event here at European Automotive in Oakville. This is a great opportunity for everyone to come by and meet all the technicians that we have here and also to meet and speak to the owners to find out what we're all about. And uh, most importantly, you come out and check out some nice cars and have a good time. Hi, my name is Omar Khan. I'm a member of uh, Cars and Chai Toronto. And it's a unique group. We're about 140, 150 active members since last year. Uh, we have grown in size exponentially. We have uh, members scattered uh, between um, the West End and the East End. Uh, we do a lot of charity work, um, and uh, one of our key focuses is how to bring together professionals uh, to the car enthusiast scene um, uh, and basically help do good and give back to the community. So the event today was really to introduce a lot of the car members from our group to European Automotive, uh, the great work that the guys do here, and uh, help introduce the team members and talk about cars, enjoy ourselves on a Sunday. So my name's Saeed, um, and I joined Cars and Chai earlier this summer, or a few months ago. I was having a chat with Omar and another friend of mine who's really into BMWs and uh, we were talking about the M3 CS. And once I started looking into it, and actually managed to find the spec that I want, which is the one that's here today in frozen dark blue, I just had to get it. I was at work, it was listed on Auto Trader. I called the dealer, three hours later, all the paperwork was signed. A few weeks later, I was behind the wheel of a brand new M3. Omar talked to us about arranging this event a couple weeks ago, maybe. He talked about European Automotive being a solid group of guys. It's very interesting for, <laughs> for me to wake up early Sunday morning to be here, and I, I am truly excited about being here. My name is Matt Sassville. I uh, have been coming here for two years now since the shop opened. Uh, the main car that drew me to the shop was a 95 Ferrari 456, which I bought uh, about two years ago. And I've kept it since. I've been trusting the guys to do all the maintenance, a couple of upgrades, uh, a couple of repairs as well. And they've been able to do all of that. And I, I wanted to come here today to say hi a bit outside of a the formal context of the shop, so to speak, and enjoy a little bit of tea, enjoy a bit of pizza, meet some people, uh, see some interesting cars. As you can see, we've got a few behind me as well, and uh, generally get to, to share the love of cars that I think everybody here has in common. The reason I keep coming back, essentially, and what drew me to the shop at the beginning is that I was able to meet everybody. I met Dorothy at the front, I met Matt, I met Tom, I met everyone else who's in here and I know everybody on a first name basis. I know that they're going to take care of my vehicle because they know me as well. They know what I want out of them and they're always very professional in dealing with it. But what's nice is I can walk into the back of the shop, I can have a chat with them, I can discuss right in front of the car, hey, it needs this, it might need that. In two years, what do you think if we did this? And if I want to upgrade it, for instance, they can recommend uh, various, whether it's from wheels and tires to engine modifications. So it's really a question of personalized service. It's a question of professionalism, of integrity. Uh, everybody here is very knowledgeable, very competent, and very good at what they do. And more to the point, they love what they do. So you can tell that they love working on the cars and it really shows in the quality of the work. My name is Hamza Imran and what brings me to European Automotive is the Cars and Chai event that they're graciously hosting here today at the facility. Had an absolute blast. Uh, we really thank European Automotive Oakville for hosting Cars and Chai Toronto. It's amazing for our group to see this entire facility, get the back end view of how things really work over here because as they mentioned, no one else opens their shop to uh, their customers like European Automotive does.